In some cases, for the presentation that you have created, you might not be able to deliver it live to your audience. And so, you might want to record that presentation. Well, PowerPoint makes that possible for you. If we look right here on the top along the ribbon, we see the option here to record. So we can just click that to get started. But also, you'll see that there's a tab along the ribbon for record. And this has a little bit more information. We saw how we could record in previous videos a screen recording or audio. Uh, so that's not what we're talking about right now, but we're actually talking about recording your presentation, going through the slides and narrating as you do. So you have the options here to select from beginning or from current slide. And then after you create that presentation, that recording of it, you can use the export options to save it as a show, to export it to video, and then go ahead and send it off to your intended audience. I'm going to start just from the record button up top here, which you can always do in order to start this process. And we see here as I hover over it, it tells me I can record narrations, animations, transitions, ink, and laser, point, laser pointer gestures. So really everything that you would be doing in a normal presentation, you're going to be able to capture in this recording. So here before I even get started, we see what the interface looks like. We see that my camera is on and I'm over in the corner as uh, I'm getting ready to get into the presentation. And I can change between a couple different views here. So before I do that, I can you know, blur the background. Maybe I have some distracting things behind me that I, I don't want to show. You know, similar to Teams, we can use that feature. Also, the views that we can work between here, there's one that's teleprompter. Now, that will take your speaker notes and put them up top uh, on the screen so that you can still be looking close to that webcam and really be looking at your audience. You can also go into normal presenter view, which is the kind of view you might be used to if you present using PowerPoint in Teams. And then the final view is just slide view. So if you're really a pro and you're really comfortable with the material, maybe you feel, I just need to see uh, the pictures of the slides. You can pull up and use any of the annotation features that you're used to using when you are presenting live. And let me get this recording started. Now that uh, we've taken a look, I've blurred my background. Maybe I'll change it back to teleprompter view so I can see the speaker notes up top here. Uh, you can turn the camera off if you don't want to be a part of this recording, if you'd rather just have it be your voice. Or if you don't want to record uh, audio, you could also turn off uh, the microphone. So we'll hit record. We'll get it started. We get a little countdown here. And now I'm able to start talking about my presentation. I can go through the welcome. I can grab the laser pointer and I can call out the title here. Can advance to the next slide. You know, maybe I want to use the pen tool and I can point to something. That's not great. That's not a great arrow, is it? Uh, as I'm continuing to advance through and talk through the slide, I can use the highlighter and call out the fact that this was founded in Boston. And so you're going through and you're doing your presentation and when you're ready, when you're all done, you can click stop recording. Or if you want to break it up into chunks, you can uh, press pause. You also can retake recording. So let me press uh, pause here and you can go back, you can edit the presentation if you noticed something as you were going through and say, oh, well, that's not good. I don't want that to show up in the recording. So you can go back into the file, make the changes. Uh, so let me, let me stop recording and we'll see uh, where it takes us from there. So here is where retake recording becomes available. So if you hit the drop down, that's because you can, you have the two choices. You know, maybe you say, oh, that whole thing was terrible. I just need to start over. Let me start from scratch. Uh, so you could retake your video on all slides. Or if you were really cruising up to that point and then you just faltered on the most recent slide, you could just say, let me just redo this current slide and you could do another take. But when you get to the point where you're happy with your product and you want to go ahead and move forward with it, that's when you're going to use the export. So we'll click export 
and this will um, give us the options that we need to know so we can browse where we want this to go. It's showing me what the file location is here. It's going to my OneDrive uh, to the folder that I was using recently. Uh, we can give it a specific name. You know, I might want to say when the recording happened. You know, I'll say the recording and the date. And then uh, when I'm happy with it, I'm just going to go ahead and I will click export video. And so that's going to create that. And then, you know, this will take a, a while. So I'm going to exit here. But when we're done with it, when we've exported it, we've created that MP4, that video file, then we can go ahead and we can send it off to our audience. So even when we're not delivering it live, we can still walk them through this presentation. So a lot of great options that PowerPoint offers to get us ready to do this delivering, to be able to give effective presentations. So that concludes this chapter and we have one more exercise file for you so you can get some more practice in.